what I'm talking about today is the last word of Jesus Christ. The last word of Jesus Christ. Because that is what is missing in our life. I find out that 90 to 95 percent of Christians doesn't really understand the meaning of that word. We are talking about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But before he died, there was a promise to us. We didn't see it as a word for us. We see it as a word for God. We see it as a son talking to his father. But that word is for us also. And what's the word? It is finished. It is what? It is finished. It is finished. The Greek word translated, it is finished as tetelestia. An accounting terms is a word for an accounting terms, meaning paid in full. Paid in full. Now, this word is often used in our own homes. We use it every time. When you give job to your child, your son or your daughter, when they are done, they come back to you and say what? Mommy, I don't finish. In the pigeon world, mommy, I don't finish. Mommy, I am done. Daddy, I am done. Have you finished washing my car? Yes, the word is finished. Now, Jesus is talking to us, not just talking to God. When he said, it is finished, he therefore means every trouble in our life is finished. So Jesus is talking to you this, this morning. Amen. In John 19.30, can I have that scripture please? The book of John 19 verse 30. It is one of the most important, poignant. He said, when Jesus therefore, what, have received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Now, it is finished. Jesus said so. Remember this, Adam's sin in the Garden of Eden. And oftentimes we all blame Eve. Hello? Oftentimes we do what? Blame Eve. And that's why see, tomorrow you hear a lot of people saying Eve brought the problem to the world. It wasn't Eve, it was Adam. It wasn't Eve, it was Adam. Now, when God created, when God creates, Adam, Eve was not there. When God gave that instruction that thou shalt not eat from this fruit, Ad, uh, Eve was not there. Adam was done naming all the animals created by God before God created Eve. Because God saw in the heart of Adam that Adam needs a companion. Now the word is in that garden Every animal was created in two, male and a female. Now, Adam begins to look at this animal and fell in love with like they are two, they have company. But remember, the only company at that time Adam had was God. The only companion Adam had was God. Because the Bible stated that God visited Adam in the garden, in the cool of the eve. So it means every evening... God comes down himself to meet and discuss and talk with Adam. God did not need a woman. He was done creating everything. And the Bible recorded and God said, everything God created was good and perfect in his sight. But because Adam needed a company, God put Adam to sleep and created Eve from his rib. And when he woke up from the sleep, he said, the flesh of my flesh and the bone of my bone. 
So he cannot complain, God, why did you now create her? Because she was created by him, from him. Now look at it this way. Eve went to eat the fruit. Satan was so subtle and he came into and he possessed the serpent and talked to who? To Eve. And now Eve ate from the fruit because of time. Eve ate from what? From the fruit. And went to convince Adam. Adam was the one that was giving instruction. Thou shalt not do what? Eat from this fruit. And he told his wife, Eve, God said we should not eat from here. And God said we should not, we can eat from here. Now she went to eat the food and came back to Adam. What I expect Adam to do is to rebuke her. Is to rebuke her. Ah, why will you do that? Stop it. Hey, see, you won't put us for trouble. Okay, just cool down. Ah, when God talk, come today, I will apologize on your, on your behalf. Adam is a friend of God. If when God came and said, Adam, where are thou? Say, Lord, have mercy. The woman you, you gave to me, Satan has polluted her, or whichever way he would do it, God would have shown mercy. Because God did not tell her. It was Adam that told her. But instead of that, my sweetheart, my sugar pie, the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh, the blood of my blood. Oh, Melecham, I cannot allow you to die alone. You will not suffer alone. You die or die. You suffer or suffer. Men, they try you. <laughs> See risk. And he ate. And God became angry with the both of them. Now let me tell you the truth. It's happening in almost every home. Some men no be a proko, their wife turned them to a proko. <laughs> Whatever they see outside, cha 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 cha. She go find trouble. He will stand. I will stand for my wife. That go beat you take off. You go find trouble. Don't bring trouble to me. My wife is not a troublemaker. She's a very peaceful, loving person. So when I'm talking about myself, I am telling you, and she's not a apropos. Tafia, you know what I mean. So please, if you are a man, look at the trouble Adam got himself. Don't get yourself into trouble. And if you are a woman, that every time you want to go and yoke with Satan, and come home to pollute your home. Be careful. The way women are the many for church, for it being, are there the many too. Jesus did not die for we to disgrace ourselves. He paid a price. The price that no man would have paid. Human being was not qualified for that sacrifice. The offense was so so, 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 so grave. It's, there's nothing. They gave animals. It wasn't enough. They sacrificed a human being. Because God told Abraham, sacrifice your son. And the guy gave, he gave the sacrifice. Whether you like it or leave it, the man gave. Giving is not the physical thing, but the thing of the mind. Why you are holding too tight to your things is because your heart is polluted. The man gave, he has closed the eyes, put the hand on the face just to say a word and slay the child. God spoke to him and that was why he stopped. Three of us. And that's why he's a man after God's heart. The Bible recorded that Abraham is a friend of God. And that's why tomorrow we pray that the blessings of Abraham are mine. And now God, look at it. God has to offer his own son. Because why? He has seen that Abraham was doing the same. 
Let me tell you the gravity of that sin. The gravity of the sin is that no man was qualified to redeem man. God has to give God. The only way for the qualification of that gravity of the sin is to sacrifice God. God has to pay himself. And he gave out a God for that sacrifice. Jesus is God, right? He gave out a God, his own son. Not just son, only son for that sacrifice. And let me tell you this, whether you like it or leave it, it was that sacrifice that now made us go to heaven. A man is not supposed to know where heaven is. In the original creation of man, of, of, of man, man was not to go to heaven, anything. Heaven is for what? Angels and God himself. Man was created and kept in the garden of Eden. Man was supposed to stay in a garden, not in heaven. That was the original purpose of creating man. You live in your garden. This is your own heaven. This is your own paradise. This is your own world. Are you getting it? And now, God took or God gave his son for that sacrifice. Now, if it was Isaac that God sacrificed, uh, Abraham sacrificed, and God accepted, we would have been gone back or would have been taken back to where? To the garden of Eden. That garden is a spiritual garden. It was locked up after man committed sin. God would have returned us there. But because God died for our sake. Because what? God died for our sake. Now Jesus cannot leave us. He has already paid the price. So wherever he goes, we go. Wherever he stays, we stay. I don't know if you are with me. Where he goes, we go. Where he stays, we stay. And remember his word. He said, I am going to do what? To prepare a place. It means man has no place there before. If a man had a place in heaven, Jesus wouldn't have used that word. He said, and now I am going to prepare a place for you. He said, in my father's kingdom, there are many mansions. If it was not so, I wouldn't have told you. Are you getting it now? What we are passing through in life is, we lack faith as Christians. We don't pray a prayer of faith. We lack faith. Even in that world, it is finished. Do you know you can just hold that word and drive as a Christian and you make heaven? It is finished. It means you can never be broke in life. It is finished. It means you can never be sick. If even if you sick, it is finished. Someone has paid for you. It is not you. Affliction will rise. But not the second time. It means there's a cure. It means there's a cure. It means there's a cure. If it is HIV, there's a cure. Ebola, there's a cure. Corona, there's a cure. In every sickness, there's a cure. The one man could not cure. Leprosy. Jesus came and did what? He cured it. He cured it. Cancer has cure. I've told you time without number, every producer has a spare part of whatever he's producing. The man who produced Benz has a part for Mercedes Benz. So when the Benz is 40, you go to Benz shop and you get the parts and you fix it and you have your car back. So even human being was created by God as part for it. It's not what you shop in the market.
you want to change kidney, you have to go and get someone else's kidney and replace the other person's kidney. No! If you have the power of God, all you need to do, you see, sometimes we pray for people that are sick. You don't know what we say. It's not things you say open. The heart is connected. There's this corresponding power between I and God or the pastor with God. As a man of God is laying his hand in your chest, he's saying a word, Lord, replace this kidney. Lord, replace this heart. Lord, take away this ulcer. Okay, why would I touch a woman? I put her hand in her chest and I put my hand in her hand and I speak a word. You ulcer out in the name of Jesus. And the person is telling you today, no more pain. What is the cause? There's a corresponding power. It's two kind of power. Now, why you will proceed and God bless you? Why you are praying and you are not getting results? Do you know why? Because there's no corresponding power. Some of you are praying just prayer. You are praying amiss. That's the right word. Some of you are Christians. You don't see, you don't even believe Jesus lived. You don't even have a relationship with Jesus Christ. You've never seen him. You don't know him. All the Jesus you know is the one in the picture. That's the Jesus you know. If you are a black man, Jesus is black. If you are a white man, Jesus is white. If you are a brown man, Jesus is brown. Jesus is a spirit. He has no face. Jesus can use me to talk to you. I'll be in my house sleeping and somebody is telling me, Pastor, not be small. They pursue me, pursue me. Now you appear. Hey, Pastor, Papa. Today now I believe you. Papa, as you appear, you wear white. See the gun where you hold. Now so you they shoot there. Ta, 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 ta. Papa. Papa, thank you. Papa, you too much. You know I told you? I didn't say things so that I can collect from him. Do you know I said? I did my house a sleep -o. Not be me, you see, oh, now God, they fight for you. I said, oh, you see, it's my God, it's me. I didn't sleep. When you were doing your own, me, I didn't do my own. Not be me, now God, oh. Some pastors will tell you, I will work for you. He's an idiot. We don't work as Christians. We pray and God answer. And when we pray, he didn't answer, we don't get angry. He knows the best. Not my work. Eh? I gave you a job to do. I'm the MD of the company or the chairman of the company. And I employ you to do a work. And you did the work and I came and I said, no, rubbish. And I destroyed it. Whose money? money? Company's money. My chairman's money. Whose property? Chairman's property. So why is he my business? So if I pray for you, you know well, now God know why. If I pray for you, you well, now God know why. In every time I keep thanking him. If you don't know the reason why Jesus died, then you will never know the reason why you live living. Every man in this hall will die one day. So why have been afraid of death? Everybody here. Nobody will see 100 years from today in this hall. Even some of the babies that are making here and here. So why wasting your time in things that will not please God? Some of us are courtists. We are in church. Some of us who come to church, we still worship idols. Some of us, we are so wicked in our heart. Even when Jesus said it is finished, that wickedness never finished for your life. Now Jesus won't be that. Me, I'm not going to forgive him. He go know me. Then you don't know Christ. You are a Christian, you can't forgive. You can't even help your neighbors. You have five kids that are going to school, but three of your neighbor's children are not going to school. You can go to a club and drink champagne. God will punish you. If you don't know how to use your money wisely, you are a fool. People are not patient. 
Let me say this to you. If you are not patient, Jesus cannot work with you. What is affecting us today is patient. We are not patient. We want things done so fast. In the name of Jesus, heal. When Jesus did not heal, you say, ah, blessed is Jesus, not fake. But the kind of faith Jesus wants is, even if you heal me or not, hear this. The pastor have prayed. But hear your own. They have prayed for you now. No sign, no sign of being healed. And you get up and you say, thank you, Jesus. I am healed. And you still felt that same problem. Do you know what you're supposed to do now to get your healing? Jesus, whether you heal me or not, you are still God in my life. Immediately that is done. Bam! The sickness will leave. Satan does not say in the body that is holy. And in every bad spirit, in every bad character, there's a bad spirit behind it. In every good character, there's a good spirit. Sit down. Sometimes Jesus needs us to say, I will not again. That is when he will support you. A man is smoking 10 packets of cigarettes. And he goes to church and the pastor prayed for him. Are you getting it? And the man said, I will not. And he go home. He is now fighting with himself. No, I will not. No, I will not. Then he brought one stick. I don't think he myself. <laughs> ah, this life will see. For you. Look at him. Look at him. This man cannot change. He can never change. From 10 packets to 12 stick. The man don't repent. Too. He has repented. Because the urge from 100% is now 7%. By the time pastor would talk to him and pray for him again, it will go to one. After one, look at this. He said, if I feed there, I not take 10 packets. Now one go add me. I beg. And that will be over. What are you struggling with? Is it addiction? Jesus said, it is finished. Amen. What are you struggling with? It is poverty. Is it poverty? Jesus said, it is finished. Yeah. What are you struggling with? Is it sickness, disease, affliction? Jesus said, it is finished. Yeah. It is finished. Now, it is your faith that will make it work. Because what we are lacking in church these days is fake. Faith. People don't talk about holiness. People don't talk about righteousness. People don't talk about the kingdom of God. Even as I'm talking to you today, some pastors are still preaching you go hammer. If you like, fight me. If you are doing Yahoo, you are a Satan brother. There's no difference between you and Lucifer. I'm not condemning you. I'm telling you, change. Jesus is knocking in the, in the door of your heart. If you open, he will come in. Jesus did not come for Christians. He came for the Yahoo people. He came for the prostitutes, for the arm robbers. Those are the people he came for. To bring them into himself. Just sit down for a minute and remember all what he passed through for you. Your papa no passed through that thing. They flog my papa to town. Try, try, God. Let me go back to the kila. Let me go back to the daughter. I'm telling you. Now, when you see man, they die put for something. Now, man. So please, in everything you do in life, have this word in your heart. It is finished. Do you know why I'm teaching this today? Is because. We, a lot of people will talk about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But I don't want us to go into the resurrection. I want us to talk about the pain he went through for us. Something that will put us in sober. Because we are always talking about something that will make us to jubilate. 
And jubilation will lead to drinking of wine. Drinking of wine will lead to sins. It's not the chicken and the rice you're going to eat at home today. It's for you to go home thinking, so this man paid this price for me. He passed all this through, through this torment for me. A word that will change you, that will rebrown you. Jesus, Jesus, we're not talking about the miracles, what he went through for us. You know you can't do it for your own child. Before I go see the nail self, I don't deny the picking. That not be a nail, you sweat it there, shook for a leg. <laughs> oh boy. I'm telling you. It is not time we go to church and we start talking about money, money, money. No, if you want money, go and walk. There's no spirit money. You go and kill your mother to make money. Satan will give you cap. He will request for your head. So what's the need? You get the cap. Which head do you want to wear? Mm. If you are a Christian, you are walking. God will bless the works of your hands. Amen. I'm telling you the truth. Don't give up. Yes, I've told you time without numbers. I used to be a trailer motor boy. End up becoming a trailer driver. In my life, I never wanted a Benz um, a range or a bigger Benz. All I want was a 190 Benz. And as a young boy, I was if I feel buy this camel to make I even die. Self, wait till this was see groove. Today, if you stop to help me with that car, I feel no green enter. So what is it that you are killing yourself for? You want to kill your mother. You want to kill your wife. You want to kill your fiancé. You deceive a girl. Be my girlfriend because you want to cut off her head. You kill a man for money. The same money you use it to please another man. Are you not stupid? When you have money and your mother cannot call you to enjoy the money, you are feeling bad. Let me, let me say this to you. Eh? And this one is for the young boys that are joining court. Court is a demonic thing. I'm telling you the truth. Why would you want to be a courtist? Now, I've asked you guys time with that number. Who court don't help? They don't give jobs. They don't give loan. Hear this so They don't give loan. And even the fight is just an unnecessary fight. They take your girlfriend, they go fight. Are you not a fool? Woman fool everywhere. We should always remember this in our hearts. Christ died for us. He's risen today, hallelujah. But he died for us. He died for us. And the purpose of Christianity is to appreciate him. That pays the price. Amen. Amen. So please, let's stand on our feet. He died. He died for us. The price was paid for us. He knew it's not sin, but yet he was tagged a sinner. He has never seen in his life. But yet he was called a sinner. He was crucified for sin he knows nothing about. Amen. So please, we should always remember that. And let me tell you something. Think before you talk. So before you commit any sin, always think. This thing that I'm going to do, what will be the penalty of it? The consequences of our actions. Amen. Please let us always remember what Jesus passed through for us. I think it will help to humble us. Always remember. If you don't want to read and you read, you can't understand. There are themes. People act themes. Go and look at, no, look Nigeria and Ono. Whether they take some more rope, they, they, they pour oil, paint for person. Go and look at the foreign ones. That you will see the trick will make you see the thing so real. Anytime I watch Passion of Christ, I cry. Some of you are watching Passion of Christ, you are eating. Licking chocolates. Popcorn. Jesus, try you. 
me, God forbid me. Baby, I don't, baby, God, I don't want to beg, you know, I beg. Do you know what shocked me the most? The same people who were flogging him, he requested for water because he was thirsty. And they gave him vinegar. Many of you don't know the word, what is vinegar. Vinegar is that chemical they use in treating wood. When you want to treat wood, not to get rotten for ants, not to eat a wood, they rub vinegar on it. Are you hearing me? It's so bitter. So bitter. And you know what? He requested for water in that same, that kind of state, state. But they gave him vinegar. He was trying to pull his mouth for me. They were you mo- not be under cutter. Ah. Ah. He wa- Yet there was no hatred. Yet there was no hatred. He was still filled with love. And God was angry. God who sent him became angry. And, and he saw the anger in his father's heart. And you know what he said? He said, Father, forgive them. Forgive them. For they know not. They know not what they are doing. They know not. They know not. We know not. You are doing Yahoo because you don't know what you are doing. You don't know the gravity of what you are doing. You are full of sins because you don't know not what you are doing. You don't know. If you know, you won't do it. Some of you are addicted to watching watching uh, pornographic movies. It gives you joy. It is not joy. Satan is the one making you see it as a joyful thing. You don't know the consequences of your actions. No matter what a man did to you, see it the way Jesus sees things. Look at what Jesus saw. With all the flogging and the caning, with all the stabbing and everything, yet he said, they know not what they are doing. For every time I keep teaching you how to forgive, you don't understand. Look at what Jesus, in that condition, Jesus said, forgive them. What kind of a man is he? And that was why a songwriter said, what manner of man is Jesus? What manner of man is Jesus? Sometimes I just thought about it. What manner of man is Jesus? What manner of man is Jesus? essence of Christianity is love. When I'm talking about love, I'm talking about forgiveness also. Because without forgiveness, there will be no love. If you don't forgive, then you don't love. You can't love. Love your enemies. It's difficult, but that is the key to success. Anytime I call you answer Any door I knock you open You're an incredible God Incredible God Incredible God You're an incredible God, incredible.
incredible God, incredible God. 